most important thing for me i don't want to walk out and say maybe i could have done this i don't want any maybes i don't want any what ifs when i step out into that field it's a privilege it's an honor for me and when i walk out i want to have zero energy left in my heart i'm still you know that guy who came from west delhi and you know made his way up i was a very energetic kid i had the ability to i guess if i enjoyed doing something i could keep going on so i had that in me i had that natural energy in me but i probably didn't have the drive or the vision the focus to channelize that energy well and i think it has to be a thing that comes from within it can't be taught to you it can't be explained from the outside so i thought okay i love batting i'm working hard at cricket but how can i improve how can i get better what can i add to my game and then the whole fitness thing struck me and it came to me and actually i'm grateful for the fact that the game also moved so luckily that thing came to me itself that you need to get your act right if you want to be a successful international cricketer it's not easy i mean if you ask me do i get affected by failure yes i do everyone does so it's difficult to process failure at such a big stage i totally believe in the fact that what's meant to be for you will happen we were working as hard as we could so i think somewhere or the other we need to understand that all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort as long as your intent is right your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the right intent that's all you can do because no one wants to go out there and fail or not succeed or have moments like this no one wants to do that no one wants to experience that but success and failure is a part of everything that we do in life whether it's sport whether it's in daily life whether you lose someone close to you whether it's a problem in your job anything it is the truth of life and you need to be able to accept both with grace that's the thing that i've learned you can't go gung ho when you succeed you can't say oh i'm the king of the world or you know we are invincible now and when you fail you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again so i think you need to feel the hurt you need to feel where could i have done things differently i think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve on those mistakes because at the end of the day cricket is all about that when you make a mistake while batting you want to improve with the next time you walk out to play or if you play a false shot and you haven't gotten out you want to improve with the next ball and similarly for bowlers and fielders you make a mistake you feel really bad about it but then you catch one and then you feel like okay i've corrected my mistake and i think life is all about that it's it's about making mistakes on a regular basis but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity to say okay i have made a mistake i'm not going to be egoistic about it i'm going to lay it down understand what happened improve on it and walk forward because people say things people attack you if you start focusing on that you cannot progress because those are opinions those are things that are happening on the outside you know what opinion you hold you know the intent you played with and you need to be true to that so the most the biggest challenge i felt was being true to your own belief